to bring to everyone's attention in New Zealand. I am aware that the BNZ, which is the Bank of New Zealand, has been issuing correspondence, and I'm going to read it to you in a minute, word for word, because you need to pay attention. A couple of things you also need to be aware of is that the BNZ is owned by the National Australia Bank. Most of the banks in New Zealand actually are owned by Australia. But anyway, this is the, the BNZ's correspondence to people. Um, started going out the day before yesterday via email and hard copy as of yesterday in the post. So if you've had correspondence from the BNZ, from the Bank of New Zealand, BNZ, I want you to pay very close attention to any correspondence you may have received from them. I'm going to read this verbatim, so word for word, okay, what that correspondence from the BNZ says. It says, master terms of any lending document without your consent if we think the amendment is reasonably necessary, now listen up, because of an actual or expected separation of it. For these purposes, separation event means we migrate systems or use alternative systems because of an actual or expected day of failure under the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. It's really important that you grasp the significance of that. So they're saying that in the event that there is failure of the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, they will have other systems in place. Now, this is, the, this is the Deposit Takers Act, which we've spoken about many times here in New Zealand. That's where they wipe out all your accounts. Um, and this is in the event of a cashless society. Now, I've actually been a bookkeeper for over 30 years, okay? To the best of my knowledge, I am not aware of any commercial bank ever issuing correspondence that says because of an actual or expected day of failure under the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. Now that's a very serious that's a very serious matter here. So you've got the BNZ flagging to its customers that the Reserve Bank of New Zealand may fail. But listen to the wording. Listen to the wording here. It says, alternative systems because of an actual or expected day of failure under the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. Actual or expected day of failure. Now, collapsing the Reserve Bank of the country is very serious business. I'm absolutely horrified, and I have seen this document myself with my own two eyes, with the BNZ letterhead on it, right? I know this is happening. But what you've actually got here is your BNZ flagging to its customers that the Reserve Bank of New Zealand is expected a day of failure. That's the complete collapse of the whole economy. So let's just talk about that for a moment. Because for the last two years right around the world, all of our governments collectively have been collapsing the economy. Now, here in New Zealand, the uh, Bureau of Statistics came out and said that over the last two years, 
48% of all small businesses in New Zealand have closed their doors permanently. 48%. It's nearly half of them. Close their doors permanently. We've also had the New Zealand government putting people out of work if they're not jab jabbed. You've got to join the dots on the fact that your government is working towards the agenda of collapsing the economy.